I always try to make films that aren't just that aren't for gay audiences only. For this one in particular, I thought it was really important that Lake not be gay. And it's because it's not about that. It's a prejudice against age. It's not a prejudice against same sex. And his fetish for the elderly, it, it, it transcends gender. In the For me, uh, the movie is about making the most of the time that you have, especially with the people that you love. And I think that what's special about this film is that it's going to be about a lot of different things for a lot of different people. The film is à propos d'une, dans le fond, c'est une relation entre un jeune puis une, une personne âgée. C'est une relation euh, très très proche. Is is a love story. I think there's a also a social thing about this film. People taking advantage of these old people. For me, what's been the, the strongest idea of the movie is this notion that a young person could be both sexually attracted and emotionally attracted to someone who's 82, which to me is a flip of what's actually going on in the world and actually what goes on in society. I never like to speculate about the life of, of the film before it's finished. Uh, so all I am interested in is um, making a film that I uh, love. Working with Bruce, uh, what is very apparent is that Bruce has made a lot of movies and directors that have made a lot of films uh, get very good at, at, at knowing what they want but also being open to other people's uh, input and ideas or the best of it. He doesn't, in, he doesn't in, inflict himself upon you. He just guides you. Bruce is amazing to work with. He's very straightforward. You never have to guess what he thinks. Um, he's very calm. He sort of keeps to himself as a director, like he doesn't give you tons of direction. I think there might be something wrong with me. I think I may have a, a fetish. Uh, it was a difficult movie to, to cast because, you know, it's not a sexually explicit film, but it's a sexually frank film. We were blessed with generous actors. They were all good people, good actors, and they were super game, all of them. Honestly, when we, we saw 30 kids the day, 30 guys his age the day that we did that casting call, and I, when, when PG walked in, before he said a word, when he walked in, I just was finally like excited, like I could feel my legs humming and I could feel my, I was going, oh my God. Pierre is the most wonderful, firstly he's a wonderful actor, but he is a wonderful guy. He's a very sweet and uh, funny, likes to laugh, and he's, Beautiful. <laughs> it's incredible. Acting with PG, that's heaven. That's tr truly, truly. I mean, I've acted with many, many, many people. Many people. About halfway through the shoot, there was a, one very emotional um, scene that he had. And, and um, Daniela, our second AD, came to me and she said, You know, Pierre Gabriel is crying, you know, if there's something wrong. And uh, I said, well, I, I just, I think he's preparing for the scene. He was just a joy to work with. I mean, his name is La Joie. We weren't sure at the beginning whether we were gonna find a, a, a talented and uh, charismatic older actor. So we were really super happy that we ended up with Walter. We did consider looking for kind of, you know, uh, stars for the main role and we did, um, we did pursue some, but my concern was always that would uh, a star, particularly of a certain age, 
have that kind of candor and be willing to just put it all out there. And Walter is a star in his own right. I mean, he's, he's a star, a Canadian star of stage. Oh, Walter, vraiment cool. Vraiment cool. Tu sais, me... je sais pas si avec quelqu'un d'autre, ça aurait fait euh, la même chimie. Si avec quelqu'un d'autre, ça aurait été autant confortable parce qu'avec son attitude, euh, tu sais, toujours souriant, <rire> très compréhensif, j'aurais pensé que ça aurait été un peu plus difficile. OK, T est super cool. Ouais. C'est une bonne personne, c'est une bonne actrice. When I uh, got her audition tape, I just immediately said hire her. She just, she really got the essence of the character. And what I wanted to tell you was, I think that what you are and what you're doing is really, really brave. Her character, she really, um, I think, nails the, the, a lot of the messages in the film, a lot of the ideas in the film, they, they come through her and she, she, really, she really speaks them. And when she finds out that Lake is having this affair with, uh, with an older man, a much older man, her reaction isn't to be like a jilted lover or to be jealous, but it's to really um, admire it for what it is. Like, in a way, it's a different kind of love. All these ideas that people have about like aging and beauty and what makes somebody desirable, like you're going against that. He's kind of like a, like Gandhi. It's like having Gandhi as a boyfriend, you know, it's like someone you admire so much. You have to let them go on their path and, and help people. You can't be in a selfish relationship with someone like that. Okay, go. Go. It's an existential statement. The idea that in that old hand, the young hand still exists. Like we're all going to age and there is so much in our society that, that is all reversed about how we deify the young when it really is the old who have the vision and the experience and we lose so much access to that through the layers and that this film is sort of like a prism that tries to refract some of those layers in, in a way I don't think I've really seen often in the cinema. Gashes to ashes